quite a scientific introduction. An introduction, as the name suggests, is the first thing that your reader is going to read through when they're looking at your report. So it needs to initially, in your first paragraph, have a, the significant purpose to it. Capture your reader. So the first paragraph should be something like the problem, the issue, to indicate why care. Capture the reader's imagination. It could be a um, local or, or global event that's just occurred or occurred in the last couple of years that uh, captures the audience's attention. It could be that there's something interesting, strange going on here that is still unknown. Try to capture the audience straight away by what is the problem or the issue in that first paragraph to do with your theme, your concept. Make it broad. Second paragraph should be going now. Second, third, and fourth paragraphs should go deeper and deeper and deeper into the research, the background information. The second paragraph should be broad. And as you go in, you're picking out more specific and more specific information related directly to the thing that you're going to be looking at. So say for example, up here, there's a large problem, an issue. The second paragraph might pick out the reasons, the information that back up that statement, the evidence. found the references in here just general ideas that might flow very well from here into that second paragraph and then there might be a smaller group within that large idea the large body of evidence you go well if we're talking about a more specific point let's go and talk about that or there might be a completely different, there might be two or three things you really have to talk about. So that could be the second, third and fourth paragraph. But generally speaking, we're going from a large concept down and being more precise. Then the fifth, maybe the sixth paragraph, that could go to a fifth paragraph if absolutely necessary. Uh, but the final paragraph, paragraph number five, should be the link. Should be the end point. That leads into your aim. You have to take a reader on a journey. The end point of that journey should be the aim. That does say aim down the bottom, just to let you know. So here, I would also indicate this by doing that, this arrow. Going from broad all the way to specific. Now, at the same time, with all this information, you still should, if you don't know anything and you're struggling with your structures here with those paragraphs, you can start with teal or peel for each of those paragraphs. 
And just as a reminder, we have our teal paragraphing. So let's just take one of those. Let's take the top one. So you have your topic sentence for our first paragraph, and then you explain that, E, for a sentence or two, and then you have to give evidence related to, firstly, that problem or issue, or just the information that you're unpacking here. And then, most important, this is where uh, I spend a lot of my time uh, with your introductions uh, for feedback, that it does not flow very well from paragraph to paragraph unless you have that L word, that linking sentence that takes the reader and you on a journey from what you're talking about here in your first paragraph and links it straight into the idea that you want to start getting across in that second paragraph. And then link it second to third with the sentence, then link it right at the end of the third paragraph to the fourth paragraph. Now that could be a simple, a simple way where you just go, as discussed in the above paragraph, if a different scenario or a similar scenario was indicated with this idea, then it might indicate that there's a larger problem. So you're going, hey, this is what we've been talking about, say, in the second paragraph, but hey, we need to delve deeper. There's a different or a very uh, more precise way of thinking about that. Then that's what we're going to, then that links into your topic sentence of your third one. It really has to flow uh, from one to one paragraph to the other and to the other. So we have to get two ideas kind of in one that we go from a broad idea down to a very specific idea that then people go, oh, before here, right at the end of this paragraph uh, five, before you hit that aim, people really have to understand in that fifth paragraph why do we really care? Make me care. From the issue all the way into giving me lots of references. Oh, this is, this is where your references come in a lot. Make me care. Make me interested. Make me want to think, before I even read your aim. Sorry, here's the aim. Before I even read your aim, and I finish your fifth sentence, uh, paragraph, make me want to go, I wish someone would research this. I've read all your, the problem of uh, in the issues. I know all the background information now, quite specifically, make me care. I really want someone, I wish someone would do a research on this topic. And then I read your aim and I go, hey, how exciting, someone is doing that research. That's what your fifth paragraph should make me as the reader want to do, want someone to research into and then read the aim and go, oh, how exciting you are. I hope that helps.